I've just opened the first gate of our safari tour. We are currently getting into the first region. This is what we call the arid region. Arid is where we keep all the animals that are found in the northwest parts of Africa. They can withstand a body temperature of over 46 degrees Celsius. When a lot of animals die because of dehydration, they are not bothered at all. The white on their skin helps them reflect heat. This way they keep themselves cool when temperatures rise. As the Mongolian wild horse, or in the native Mongolian language, they're called the Taki. Any of the grey coloured ostrich around here? We have our long neck animals just over on the left side. A group of them is called a tower. Here at Rabi Zoo, we have a tower of five uh, giraffes compared to the rest. Following Jelani, we have our shortest giraffe, AJ. AJ is very wrinkly. Sometimes he appears to be the oldest, but it's actually one of our youngest uh, giraffes. Pansy is the youngest one, that is a female rhinosaurus. Pansy is only around 9 years old. See that moisturizer for their skin, sometimes as an insect repellent, or when it's very hot. Uh, they use the mud as a form of sunscreen. Or crush it to all and use for medicinal purposes, such as curing headaches. It is because of a material found in their homes called Just do not blink because you may miss them. They're currently inside the water. Now, unfortunately, the gate behind me is closing, so I'll have to drive a little bit quicker. And we'll cross down to recover the death here in Africa. Now, this is where we were supposed to see our hippopotamus. This one is what we call the woodlands. In here we have over 200 types of beds. And there is a very large bed on the left side. I just want to see the ostrich or the emus. One large ostrich egg. Over to the right side. The egg is about 1.5 kilos heavy. It's the same size as 24 chicken eggs. I'm sorry guys, these are not the baby ostrich, they are the cave bearing geese. Now here in the woodlands, we call them Yala. These ones, as you can see, are very shy compared to all the animals around here. They often like to keep to themselves. And it's very handy that they are very well camouflaged behind the use of the trees. So in the Yala, we have a large group of <coughs> an antelope that we call the black buck or the Indian antelope. These guys are native to India. One of our favorite things to do at Royal is run different conservation campaigns. And at the moment, we are running a campaign called Seal the Loop. And this right here is the Werribee River. Here over on the right side you'll see another group that we call the humans. <laughs> this one's on very well. There's the mountain zebras, the gravy zebras. And the group that we keep at Werribee Zoo are a species that we call the plains zebras. Just behind these trees on the left side you'll see one of the stinkiest animals that we have down here. They are an antelope kind called the water box. Their skin produces this grease that smells very bad and um, sometimes good for them in the wild if you smell bad. And your meat doesn't taste very good, other animals don't want you to eat.
yes, but first there is a large bed on the left side. Now earlier we saw the grey ones, those were the female ostrich. Over here we have a male ostrich. The males are black in colour. Now you can see this is one of our largest area, it's what we call the rural savannah. Welcome to the Lower Savona, everyone. The first group that I'll introduce you to is over to the right side. Four meters high. But interestingly, these inlands over here can also jump at that height. These ones are more impressive because they are quite large. They weigh between 600 and 700 kilos. There are five species of them around the world. And what we have as for the zoo is what we call the southern white rhinos. These ones have the widest legs. And this makes them very good grazers. They can eat them easily. A little bit spoiled, the inside of shares they have fancy heaters to keep them warm. On the left is our replica of a small African village. Usually in Africa, the boys will go into the wild to build up their kennel. They'll build temple shelter like those. Uh, if you guys have never been on a roller coaster before, today is your lucky day. There is a very steep slope just in front of me. Can I please get everyone to hold on tight? Now, some people like to wave their hands in the air like they don't care, but just be very careful. Roller coaster! It was a very boring roller coaster. Tha. <laughs> 